Hello there guys, my name is Jack, you're welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers. Now, today is another update, and this is something I do feel like you guys need to know. So, basically, um, I was just about to go to bed, it is currently 5 to 10 at night, and they updated the game. And what have they introduced to the game? Well, they've done a, a lot more performance and bug fixing and whatnot, but they've actually added a block. So, I'm unsure whether they're still in the bug fixing phase or what. So, they've added a block, a new one, and it's called the projector block. And what it basically allows you to do is it allows you to, in survival, or even in creative, it allows you to project the body of an item. Sorry, my phone just went off. Um, it basically allows you to project an item, and once that item is projected, you can then literally weld onto it and produce it as long as you have the parts necessary. So we're going to give this a try in creative mode and see what happens. Um, from what I've seen it does work in creative but uh, we'll have to find out. So what I'm going to do is I, will, I won't load up the Devil Driver Squadron world because that takes too long to load because there's a lot of mods on that. And what I'll do is I'll just go on the quick start world and see what we can get from here. I should have some things in the blueprint list uh, so we'll just see what happens I guess. So the projector block actually allows you to generate, uh, again you can use we like uh, welders to put them together also so you can have like mass production facilities to produce the things you need. So what we'll do is we'll go into our inventory and try and figure out where this projector block is. There it is. So the projector block is here. It's like right under everything. Um, just by the armor blocks. Um, it's kind of a nice placement of it actually. So what we'll do is we'll get a uh, welder out also, plonk that down, and we'll get these as well. Um, do we need anything else? No, we shouldn't need anything else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Actually, it needs to be a small ship. That's a thing. So, as I've just reminded myself, these things are um, only usable on sort of small to small, large to large, station to station, however station and large. Class is the same thing, so if we put that on. It has no power currently, but we can soon sort that out. There we go. So what we can do is apparently we have to gain control to this. I'm just going to put a freaking cockpit on the side and go projector. Now projector, you can select blueprints. So I have these two things that I did actually put onto the Steam Workshop for whatever stupid reason. And we do have some other ones as well. Um, some other things that I've actually shown off in the game. So we'll actually do the Wasp Fighter by Dark Lord. Hope he doesn't mind me building one of his ships. And if we go T, as you can see, this is actually thrown up the parts. In fact, we won't do that one. Um, we will go K. It's alright, that one's got modded parts on so a lot of it won't come up so if we actually you can change it on the go so if we actually go fighter ship and go ok and um, that's actually produ uh, projecting the thing for the fighter ship now what we need to do is we need to go again k and go projector and you can actually offset this forwards backwards whatever so that one goes forwards and backwards um, I don't know what this one does don't know what that one does roll basically turns it um, we want to do the vertical offset so you can offset it to be higher now this actually shows what is required when building this ship so it says there's 192 blocks required um, you need 16 small thrusters one large thruster, 12 conveyors and it just gives you a, a list of things that you need finally so when you're in survival you can go oh, I need this, 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 this and this and then uh, I need to click OK to that um, I'm still getting used to these myself, so uh, please be aware of that. Um, so that should be projecting up now. There we go. So if I get my welder out, this should work where I can place... No? Do I need to actually put the blocks down? Or does it need to be connected? Is that a thing that it needs? So... Oh. World saved. Thank you, world, for saving. So I'm unsure whether this actually needs to be connected to the uh, thing. So if we adjust this, is that touching? It is indeed touching. So is that will that work? Ah, 
There we go. So as you can see here, we're, we are basically placing all the blocks. Now in survival, this will grind, um, well, weld, you know, as normal. So this is basically what it allows you to do. Now, I'm unsure whether this is bug or where you have to start from the middle and work your way out. But you can go inside the projection and just gradually build up a ship. And again, as long as the blocks are touching, you can add them to your ship. So like this one here, zap, 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 zap. And this will add a lot a lot more things for people in survival who are survival hardcores. Um, so if they go through, you know, and want to produce a ship that's in somebody else's world, like say if one of you guys wanted to produce one of my ships and you've got blueprints of it, but you can't place it in, of course, because it is in survival. What you can do is you can project it if you create a blueprint of it. I don't create blueprints of my own ships currently because I find that just having the world download is enough. Um, but uh, you know you guys can go I want a blueprint of that, make a blueprint and once you've done that blueprint you can then import it, you know, take it into your world, build a projector and you can gradually build up your own ship of what somebody else has built. So again if you're not the most adept builder in the world you can you know, build stuff from the favourite people that, you know, you find that have built other things and again it could probably aid you in a way to, you know, build more efficient ships in survival if you don't know how to do that yourself. So it's a it's very, very interesting and again for for being able to copy a ship or mass reduce it. So I'm sure if I got the welder off of this ship it would work, I believe. So what we want is we want a G and we want to go welder um, now we want to go G weapons and tools. We want to do that. Okay, so if we get the welder on this, will it work? Oh, look at that! Holy shivers! So you can have mass production facilities that just just pump out ships like this. And as they showed in their video, which I will have linked in the video description, they have literally just gone. Yep, yeah, you can do this, 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 this. Check that out. But I'm unsure how it works currently with the uh, blocks that have com like uh, connectors on the bottom. We have to put them in of your own accord later on. But uh, either way, this is looking good for space engineers with all these changes and mods and things and just everything they're doing to the game is right currently. I know they'll probably make a few decisions that some people won't like. Some people may not like this, but you know, it's a really, really interesting idea and a really in interesting concept for sandbox building especially. And look, I've just built that ship in no time at all. So, that has been the update. Everything else just requires a lot of, uh, you know, it's just a lot of bug fixes, improvements to the game. And there's also a new um, tool come out for enabling people to um, mess around with the mods a bit easier. So, that's another thing. But, that is it for now. So, um, if you guys have enjoyed, please like, favorite, and of course subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys later. Peace!